are here at Cipriano P. Brunisha's National High School. Last Friday, February 16, 2024, our group went to Cipriano P. Primisha's National High School to conduct an interview to one of the most active, talented, and achiever math teacher, Mom Pamela Abiyang Pugayan. According to Mom Pamela, her personal attributes in terms of teaching is her being creative and having extraordinary leadership skills. Mom Pamela is not only a teacher, she is also an achiever. She receives many awards and some of these are being being a 2023 Dead at Alcala Outstanding Teacher and got International Eminence Award. While in her professional attributes, according to her, as a teacher, we need to have knowledge of the subject matter, compassion, empathy, and flexibility. Mom Pamela is not having a big brain or mind. She also having a big heart by conducted, conducting an extension activity in their community titled Ongoing Community-Based Project for Housewives. She also conducted a research with the title of Digital Content Creation, Competency of Physical Education Teachers in School Division of Pangasinan 2. How did the teacher conduct his or her action research work? Mom Pam conducted her research entitled Digital Content Creation Competency of the Physical Education Teachers in School Division of Pangasinan 2. Basis for Enhanced Technology-Based Training. The respondent of her research was Physical Education Teacher of Senior High School in Pangasinan. She used online survey to gather data about her research. Her research was apprised the digital competency of PE teachers when it comes to teaching physical education. Her research result serves as the foundation for enhancing and training. Describe the extension project the teacher is was involved. Community-based project is the extension project that Mom Pamela was involved. Her beneficiaries are the white housewives of Barangay Canarvacanan, Alcala, Pangasinan. Fifteen housewives are involved in this going community-based project. In their every meeting, Mom Pamela instructs them to do exercises and sometimes they use Zumba. This community-based project ensures that every housewife has their time for themselves and their lifestyles. In addition, this community-based project that Mom Pamela conducted was to the age, to school and community. As a future educator, I've learned that we have to be a good leader and a teacher. We have to be compassionate, creative, and a good communicator because it builds a strong foundation of a teacher and a student relationship. In this activity, I've learned a lot that we as a future educator, we must be responsible and help to be compassionate with our teaching profession. As a future educator, I have learned the significance of demonstrating both creativity and flexibility in the teaching profession to effectively engage students and address diverse learning needs. In this activity, I've learned from Mom Pamela that as a future educator, I need to keep in mind that we are not just a teacher to teach our students, but also as second parents, listeners, friends, and counselor to give them support, love, and care fairly to my future students soon. What I learned in this activity is as a teacher, you need to have passion and you need to learn to love what you are doing because everything you do with love, nothing wrong with that. 
So aside from teaching, we can also extend our service, not only in school, but also in our community to build a good relationship between the school and the community. So in that way, if the school needs some help, it is easy for us to seek help in the community and vice versa.